Atopic dermatitis, or also known as atopic eczema, is a chronic inflammatory skin disease that poses a significant economic burden and deeply alters a patient's quality of life. 15-20% to 20 of children and 1-3% to 3 of adults are suffering from this disease worldwide and the direct cost to the United States alone in 2005 was $1 billion. With its increase in prevalence every year, there was no end in sight for the economic loss. This complex disease has a wide spectrum of clinical presentation and a combination of symptoms which includes red, itchy, dry and cracked skin with symptoms worsening at night. Until recently, topical corticosteroids have been the foundation of pharmacological treatment but their efficacy is limited to moderate to severe cases and long-term use carries a risk of side effects. Fortunately, with the FDA approval of a new drug, Dupilumab, which uses an immunological approach in treating the disease, there is new hope for severe atopic dermatitis patients. Dupilumab was developed by Sanofi and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals Incorporated and is now also commercialized by the same company. In order to have a good understanding of how Dupilumab works, let's take a look at the function of type 2 interleukin-4 and interleukin-13 receptors. IL-4 and IL-13 are T-helper type 2 cytokines with multiple functions in immunity, such as promoting allergic inflammation in asthma, and as recently discovered, atopic dermatitis. They do this by activating immune cells, such as mast cells, which subsequently release histamines and trigger a pro-inflammatory response. Dupilumab is a human monoclonal IgG4 antibody that targets interleukin-4 receptor alpha, which is essential for IL-4 and IL-13. The binding of this antibody disrupts the pathways for both of these functions, and subsequently stops the hypersensitivity and inflammation mediators which cause severe atopic dermatitis. Because there is no cure for atopic dermatitis, the drugs that treat it all work by treating the symptoms of the disease through different means. Many of these means are non-pharmaceutical and involve lifestyle modifications such as frequent moisturizing and dietary changes. However, the ones that are pharmaceutical are divided into topical corticosteroids, calcineurin inhibitors, or systemic immunosuppressants, all of which have an, an immunosuppressive effect since the cause of atopic dermatitis is rooted within the immune system. Topical corticosteroids are the current first-line treatment for atopic dermatitis, as they can efficiently treat the disease, though unfortunately they cause side effects such as mood swings, a much higher risk of infections, and in some cases during long-term use, osteoporosis. The second kind of drug treatment is calcineurin inhibitors, such as tacrolimus, which are immunosuppressive drugs that inhibit the T-cell activating enzyme calcineurin. And finally, the last line of pharmaceutical treatment for eczema is systemic immunosuppressors. These drugs are powerful immune system suppressors that strongly dampen the immune response, forcing the symptoms of eczema to stop. Both calcineurin inhibitors and systemic immunosuppressors significantly dampen the immune response, which makes people who use them more likely to become sick and be more prone to infections. Dupilumab, however, fits in none of these three categories, as its mechanism of action involves the IL-4 and IL-13 pathway, as mentioned earlier. Clinical trials have shown that dupilumab is an effective form of treatment for atopic dermatitis. However, it does not give quick or immediate results. Dupilumab can be administered through injections, with a full course of treatment taking around 16 weeks, though after this time, the symptoms of atopic dermatitis are significantly reduced. Dupilumab's effectiveness in treating the symptoms also makes it a highly appealing form of treatment, the study showing that it could remove 85% of a patient's dermatitis over five weeks, while sacrolimus could only reduce the dermatitis by 67% over a similar time period. Dupilumab has a lot of potential as a drug because it offers a highly effective alternative method of treatment without causing serious side effects. However, there are three main negative aspects of dupilumab, which are the adverse effects, the price, and the chance of drug interactions. Dupilumab can cause significant skin irritation, blepharitis, oral herpes, and cornea inflammation. Moreover, the cost of dupilumab tends to be quite high compared to the other drug treatments, as dupilumab can go up to $1,600 American dollars for one pack. The variety of drug interactions is another problem facing dupilumab. When dupilumab is taken with certain other drugs, like adalimumab or azathioprine, it can lead to increased risk of infection and sepsis. In conclusion, Treatment with dupilumab resulted in substantial improvements to a patient's atopic dermatitis in the majority of patients who were studied, though it is currently a highly expensive treatment. In addition to improving the symptoms of atopic dermatitis, treatment improved the quality of life of patients by stopping dermatitis-related anxiety or depression, making dupilumab a promising new form of treatment for atopic dermatitis.